We are starting by priming our lids and we're just taking this white NYX shadow base and we're going to blend from the lid all the way up to the brow bone. Next I'm taking this palette, this is by BH Cosmetics, and I'm taking this yellow color here and I'm just blending this into the crease. I will build this up so I probably went over it about three or four times to intensify the yellow. Next I'm taking this Wet n Wild Photo Bomb Highlighter and I'm going to be putting this on the brow bone and I'm just going to be blending it in. This is the highlighter so this is going to just intensify that yellow glow. Next I'm taking this B Matte Blush. This is a blush and I'm going to be buffing this into the crease and we're just going to build the color as well. Next I'm taking the City Color Palette. This is a metallic pink and I'm just going to pack this onto the lid. I'm taking this pigment here. It's like a pearl color with all that beautiful iridescent little different sheens into it and I'm just going to pack this onto the lid as you guys can see it adds that little beautiful sheen over that metallic pink. Alright this is the fun part. <laughs> Take any fishnet that you guys have, put this over your head, make sure that it's kind of maybe good fishnets, not cheapy ones because then the holes will be really big. But as you guys can see I'm laughing here because it looks funny. Make sure you pull all your little hairs back so like that when you guys put on the makeup you don't have like hair strokes, like the patterns of the hair. Then I'm taking this body illuminator. This is by Ingla. It's yellow and I'm going to put this all over the outer part of my face and I'm putting a liquid down so that when we do apply the shadows and the powders it has something to hold on to. So we're just going to go around the whole face. Going back to that blush that we used for the eyes, I'm going to take that and put that all over that yellow liquid that we just put on. It's a little hard to see because of the red fishnets and it's actually really hard to see through these. I could have cut holes in them but they're actually my good fishnets and um, I didn't want to damage them. I just had to suffer with my lashes poking through. But if you guys get some and you don't care about it, just cut some holes around the eyes so that you guys can see better. But as you guys see, I'm going to go all over my face. Around the forehead, I bring it down a little bit I was just winging it you guys can just go like a little bit on the outer you know areas of the face or however you want you could do your whole face like this it's totally up to you so I'm just going to pack remember to pack through these fishnets never just blend or swipe because then you can move the fishnet and then the pattern won't be there like the little scales might move around and get smudged so just make sure that you pack this and of course here I'm contouring when I pull the fishnets off, you guys are going to see that I really, really contoured because the mermaid is going to contour and highlight, of course. So you guys can see this is like my blush um, little contour kind of face. Next, I'm taking this Milani Lip Flash Stick. It's like a jumbo stick and it's like a purpley pearl color. So I'm just going to take this and draw some little scales on the bridge of my nose and I just, as you guys can see, I just fill them in. Now 
Now, of course, we have to highlight. So for my highlighter, I'm taking this uh, highlighter. I believe I found this at H&M. I'm taking a foundation brush and I'm just going to pop it right onto my cheekbones as if I was highlighting. And then I'm also going to pop this on my Cupid's bow as well. Next, I'm taking this Shimmer Shadow by City Color. They're a metallic, creamy shadow. These are perfect for this. And a little like generic sponge, and I fold it in half so I can actually press that shadow into the stocking there. So you'll see me just go around the whole outline of my face where I did previously put the other purple and that other cream color. So we're just going to be blending those in. Once we have taken off that crazy fishnet off of our face, I'm going to use the same highlighter I used for my cheekbones and just pat a little bit of it right underneath my eyes as if I was concealing. And you really can't see it here, but it looks really nice and shimmery. Next, moving to brows, I'm just taking this purple liner here and I'm just going to go ahead and pencil the brows as I normally just would. the brows in I'm just taking that same shimmer shadow by city color and I'm just putting that in the areas where you know there's no hair or it's a little too light so I'm just brushing that in then I'm just taking that same yellow highlighter photo bomb by wet n wild and I'm just going to pop this in the inner tear ducts Moving on with this purple shadow here, I'm just going to start drawing some lines on the side of my eyes. I just felt like they felt naked. And I just started drawing some lines and then I kind of connected them to where they look like a little webbing, like the, the feet on like the little ducks and stuff. And then I added like a little bit of highlighter and then I just blended it out. Next, I'm just taking this liner and I'm just going to line my waterline. Moving to my chest area, I just took that yellow um, Inglot highlighter thing and a little bit of a other highlighter which I'll link down below and I'm just blending this all over my chest because I want to make sure that we're all glowy and I also run this down my arms later in the video so we're just going to blend, blend, blend. After that I'm just going to take that photo bomb highlighter with a big, big powder brush and then I'm going to just bedazzle myself. Next, taking this spirit gum, which is like a very, very good glue for any special effects for Halloween, and I'm just going to put this on my collarbone. I went over it like three times, and this stuff is amazing. It works really, really well if you're trying to create like any scars or any cuts or anything like that. Then I'm just going to be packing this little confetti all over that little bone area there, just on the bone, so it looks like we have little scales that are flaking off and we look all glittery. Next, taking the top of the pantyhose, I just cut the legs off. I'm taking this area that goes around your waist and I just stretch it into my arm. And then I'm starting by patting a little bit of that yellow Inglot creamy liquid highlighter so that it holds down the shadow. And then here I'm taking that shimmer shadow and then I'm just patting it around the scales, not on the scales, but around it so that we can create that little ombre effect. After 
after I finish going over it with that sponge, I just take that same light purple as you guys can see there and then I just go around it. Next with that big powder brush, I'm just putting some cream onto the arm and then I'm just going to blend it all in, down up into my fingers, up the arm, under all the way around. And this is one of the legs and then I just start um, putting more of that liquid just to make sure that it's all over so like that the powder sticks onto it. As you guys can see here I'm packing like a patting motion, that purple one. You can blend the liquid in but then you have to pack on your powder there. Next we're moving to lashes and I applied some false Ardell I believe they were wispies and then I'm just caking the hell out of the blue mascara. Moving to lips, I'm just going to line the whole lip and this is a bright pink. Then I'll just be filling it in with, I think it's like raspberry something by Gerard. I'll have everything linked down below. And then to kind of add a, a beautiful highlight, because I love some highlight, I'm going to be taking the OCC, I believe it's in Hollywood, as you guys can see it's like a pearl color. And I'm just going to blend this all over the lips. back in with Photo Bomb by Wet n Wild and I'm just going to be popping more of this onto the inner tear duct. Then I'm going to be misting MAC Fix Plus all over me to bedazzle me a little more. And that is going to complete this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.